Hi, Gav here from Play.net and today I'm going to be doing a special comparison um, against a couple of the top end cars in this class. I'm going to be taking a look at um, the Asus Strix GTX 1060 and I'm going to be pitting it against AMD's um, most recent flagship card, the RX 480 Strix. Now these particular cards are virtually identical in terms of looks, design, um, there's a couple of differences, but yeah, which one wins? Let's find out. It's the water. <laughs> Main difference between them is that the GTX 1060, the ROG logo on the back plate does not light up, whereas on the RX 480, 480 it does, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Not only is the Asus DC3 cooler one of the best looking on the market, but it's also one of the coolest and quietest as well, which makes um, iron for the RX 480 or the GTX 1060 a good choice for people who want something that's got good thermal performance and good acoustic performance to boot. Looking at our tail of the tape with the Asus Strix cards, the GTX 1060 has a higher core clock speed. The RX 480 has a higher memory interface. It also has an extra 2GB of GDDR5 memory. So the RX 480 comes at 8GB, the 1060 comes with 6GB, and both cards have got the exact same length with 11.73 inches. Let's take a quick look at our player test bench setup um, just before we put these cards to the test and see which one wins. Now we've come to the end of our comparative testing and it's pretty clear that the GTX 1060 is the better single um, performer graphics card. It performs very well on all the benchmarks and it pulls clear of the RX 480 in, in quite a few as well. Um, now just to set a few things in stone as well that I need to point out as well. Um, the GTX 1060 does not have SLA enabled. None of the GTX 1060s do that. Pretty bad call by Nvidia. Um, if you are the kind of person who buys a budget card then adds another one later on when you need more performance. Unfortunately, the RX 480 is, is the better card in that way. Um, it also has 8 gig, about 8 gig of GDDR5 memory, whereas the NVIDIA GTX 1060 only comes with 6. So, there are it's apples and oranges as well. Obviously, if you, you are only going to purchase one card, you've got an ITX system or you're planning an ITX build or something small, you want a sound card and you've got an M, MATX board, um, obviously the GTX 1060 is the better card. Um, if you're planning on adding a second graphics card in the future, then the RX 480 is the winner. It's it's apples and oranges, really. It comes down to personal preference. Um, there isn't a massive difference between them. Now, if you're looking at buying either of these cards, um, and price is a big factor to you, the GTX 1060 is around, well, the Asus Strix version, anyway, is around £30 more than the RX 480 Strix. Now, the reason I'm using these two cards as a comparison is that these two are the top cards of their particular range um basis tricks obviously 
fantastic cool air, you know, it's quiet, and the cards themselves perform absolutely phenomenal. Um, one thing in terms of style, the RX480, the ROG logo on the back plate actually illuminates. It's actually a, a, a RGB as well as the rest of the cooler. And the 1060 doesn't feature that. So as far as style concerns, the RX480 wins it. As far as multi-card solutions and future-proofing, the RX480 wins it. VRAM, the 480X wins it. The 480X, RX480, should I say. But overall, in single card performance, which is probably the most important part of this test and comparison, is the GTX 1060 wins. So yeah, I'd like to give a big shout out, big thanks to Asus for sending both these cards in to allow me to do this video. I'd also like to say, if you like the video, please give it a like. We do have lots of other GPU videos around um, and quite a few more coming over the for a few weeks as well. We also in, intend to, you know, to do a lot more in-depth comparative testing as well between a lot of different cards. So you will see a GTX 1060, 1070 and 1080 comparison coming up to, sh to see how far away the cards are from each other. Um, and if we can get hold of them, we'll do the same with the AMD cards. But yeah, I've been Gavin from player.net um, or player TV because I'm now a full-time YouTuber as opposed to the website. But we do obviously have a website in the description below, which is fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's brilliant. One of the best in the UK. Got to check it out. But yeah, leave a like. If you like it, leave a dislike. If you don't like it, please leave in the comments below why you don't like it. We, we always want to improve on ourselves. Um, and I'm, I'm not down for constructive con criticism. I do enjoy it. Um, I'm not a smug like most little YouTubers are. Me, 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 me. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you um, check out the other videos as well, check out the Amazon links below. It really helps us out. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. GTX 1060 is the best single card out of the two. Um, yeah. Ciao for now.